Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh Kita berjumpa lagi Bagi video yang seterusnya Okay, before this We have learned How to determine the domain of Few types of functions So right now We would like to determine Domain of vector function Which is our interest in This first topic As you can see from this example on page 120, you will see that this is actually vector valued function that consists of three different component functions. Let me write the vector function for you. RT is equal to T cube I plus E to the power of T. J plus Z T K When you try to write your vector, please make sure there is a title under notation I, J and K Because that is the correct way to present a vector Right now, the question asks you to determine the domain of vector function so what should you do when you have this kind of question? So you have to determine each uh, each domain for each component function separately. If you do a lot of exercises in the future, by right you don't have to determine the domain of the function separately so you will get the answer instantly so if this is your first time trying to determine domain of vector function try to determine the domain of each component function separately so I'm going to call the first component function as function ft which is t to the power of q function g as e to the power of t and function h as z t so right now let us determine domain of function ft domain of function ft since uh, it is actually a polynomial function by right the domain is from negative infinity until infinity what will happen to the second function the domain of the second function it is actually an exponential function right so you will have the same answer which is negative infinity until infinity what will happen to the third component function the third component function is actually a radical function as mentioned earlier whenever you have radical function the argument of the radical function should be always larger than or equal to zero in order for the function to be defined am i right so right now you will have t larger than or equal to zero so right now you have the domain of these three component function and the question is what is the domain of vector function so here comes an interesting part so right now you have to sketch a number line so that you will see how to determine domain of vector function so here are my domain for three component functions so as you can see from here the element involved should be negative infinity infinity and zero so i'm going to uh, put them on the number line so i will have negative infinity and then i will have zero and i will have infinity so i'm going to change the color of my answer over here so for function the first function is is a polynomial function and polynomial function will be ranging from 
negative infinity until infinity i'm going to use open circle because based on the inequality i don't have any uh, equal sign that's why i'm using open circle so i'm going to change the color of my pencil so this one is d of function ft so the second one the same as the same thing which is from negative infinity until infinity so this one is d g t and then the domain of the third function h is larger than or equal to zero so it will start at zero i'm going to use closed circle because based on the inequality i'm having that equal sign so i will have from zero, uh, zero until infinity so i will have open circle for infinity so right now the domain of vector function should be intersecting between these three line right so that's how you determine the domain of vector function domain of vector function r is given as t such that t larger than or equal to zero or you can always present your answer in this notation which is zero and infinity as you can see from here i'm using the square bracket whenever i have that equal sign so i'm going to use open circle i'm not open circle uh, i'm using normal bracket just to make sure and demonstrate that we are not going to consider infinity because infinity is very large number that's why we have open circle instead of uh, square bracket so this is your, your answer or you can also uh, write your answer as t such that 0 less than or equal to t less than infinity all three answers are accepted let us try and take a look at the next example this time around the vector function is given in this pointy bracket form which is cosine t ln t minus 3 and set t plus 1 so when you try to determine domain of this vector function try to determine the domain of each component function first function ft is equal to cosine t function gt is equal to ln t minus 3 function ht is equal to set t plus 1 and then you find the domain patiently domain of function ft is equal to t such that t is between negative infinity until infinity so domain of function gt you see that the argument of logarithmic function should be always larger than 3 t minus 3 larger than Larger, not larger than 3, larger than 0 t larger than 3 therefore the answer will be t such that t larger than 3 what should I do next? I will try to determine domain of function h I will get before that I will try to solve and understood the mechanism behind it 
which is I know that the argument of this radical function should be always larger than or equal to 0 t plus 1 larger than or equal to 0 t larger than or equal to negative 1 so when you have this kind of answer then you can write your answer as t such that t larger than or equal to negative 1 so when you try to determine the domain of vector function you sketch your number line and your number line should consist of negative infinity infinity 3 and negative 1 you try to sketch the answer one by one yeah okay for function f from negative infinity until infinity domain of function g is from 3 until infinity and domain of function h from negative 1 until infinity so what should I do I have to make sure I am able to draw the intersection between these three lines so they will intersect at this value so your final answer will be domain of vector function r is equal to t such that t larger than 3 or t such that t is in between 3 and infinity or 3 infinity so this is how you answer this question so let us give a try to solve this vector valued function this vector function consists of these three component functions let us try to bring out the important information first we know that function f t is equal to sine 2t function g t is equal to 1 over t minus 3 and function ht is equal to set t plus 2 so what should i do next i need to determine the domain of each component function separately so for the first function i know that that is trigonometric functions by right there will be no restriction on that function therefore the domain of function f is equal to t such that t is in between uh, sorry t is in between negative infinity until infinity domain of function g is equal to since we are talking about rational function whatever you have on the denominator part it cannot be zero in order for the function to be defined so in this case t such that t not equal to 3 and what will happen to fun domain of function h so in this case the argument of the radical function should be always larger than or equal to zero therefore the domain of function h is t such that t 
quantity larger than or equal to negative 2 so when you try to determine the domain of the vector function you try to sketch the number line and then it will include negative infinity negative 2 3 and infinity then I'm going to use different color so that you can see the domain clearly so in this case the domain of the first function is from negative infinity until infinity so this is domain of function f domain of function g it will be defined from negative infinity until infinity but it won't be defined at t is equal to 3 so i'm going to have this line so this one t of function g and domain of the third function So this is domain of the third function. So right now, so it will be quite tricky when you try to present the domain of vector function R. So domain of vector function R is actually such that t in between negative 2 negative 2 included and 3 union with t less than 3 and infinity since there is a hole at t is equal to 3 so in order for this vector function to be defined so it should be in between negative 2 and 3 and in between 3 and infinity or you can simply answer your question as negative 2 3 union with 3 infinity